Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we're going to answer a pretty frequent visitor question. Uh, climate control? Question mark? Battleship New Jersey both had climate control when she was in service and still has climate control today. Climate control today is pretty different from when the ship was in service. However, we do use some of the original plumbing and uh, fan control units and that sort of stuff. So the area of the ship that is climate controlled is not any bigger than it was when the ship was in service. So some of the ship living and working spaces, spaces does have climate control. That's the bulk of the tour route if you come to visit the ship. Other spaces never had climate control added. In particular, the engineering spaces did not. There was no point. It was always going to be 120 degrees in there when those things were running. Not even the brute force systems that this ship uses could have overcome that. They do have forced draft ventilation, which is basically just fans sucking air from the outside in. That outside air is guaranteed to be cooler than the air in there. So it is a type of air conditioning, I suppose. If you see any of the uh, mushroom-shaped ventilators all over the deck of the ship, those tend to be forced draft ventilation. As built, heat was never a problem. The, ship, the ship's boilers is creating steam and that steam can be fed to radiators all around the ship. So heating living and working spaces, no trouble at all. There are also chill water radiators that work the same way only using cool water, but those uh, are pretty exclusively in the magazines. Even as far back as World War II, there were some air conditioned spaces on board, uh, spaces like radio rooms and combat information centers that had a lot of modern, modern for World War II, electrical equipment that had to be kept at a stable temperature, uh, did have air conditioning. Uh, I have not found any examples of these early air conditioning systems, and I imagine they've all been completely gutted uh, and replaced with more modern systems. During the Vietnam War, uh, we start to see um, air conditioning added. Uh, some of it is deliberate and some of it is uh, package units, much like uh, what you would mount in a window, cut into the side of a bulkhead and mounted right there. And instead of ventilating exterior, it's ventilating into whatever birthing space is on the other side of my birthing space. Uh, that's what we call an unauthorized ship bolt, and it does break the ship's uh, watertight integrity and it's ventilating gases into another living space, which are all not great. However, clearly there's a need. The ship predominantly operate in the South Pacific. Um, and so air conditioning is a must. By the 1980s, when the US military had switched from draft to all volunteer, uh, in order to entice sailors to join and stay in the Navy, air conditioning was more, uh, more extensively upgraded on ships in the fleet, including the Iowa-class battleships. So spaces like this one uh, at frame 79 on third deck, now known as uh, the number one air conditioning machinery space, were retrofitted from older spaces. Uh, much of this space was probably part of the World War II radio suite, which was deleted and turned into uh, fan rooms and air conditioning rooms, with that space being moved up three levels to the main deck. When the ship was donated to the state to become a museum, part of that stipulation was we could not run any of the steam-powered equipment. Uh, obviously, we can't run the boilers to generate steam, and so the ship's original heating system uh, has become completely inoperable. So we added a heating boiler on the pier that's plugged right into Camden Utilities. Uh, and that heating boiler heats water and pumps it through the water lines on the ship. 
The lines we use for both heating and air conditioning the ship are the original chill water lines installed in the 1980s as part of the air conditioning equipment. And we no longer run the original air conditioning equipment either. There's a modern cooling tower uh, that's been added just aft of the second funnel on the ship's superstructure. That and some associated machinery rooms uh, have been tied into the ship's original systems. I've worked on a number of museum ships and I've visited somewhere between a third and half of the museum ships in this country. Uh, and Battleship New Jersey has perhaps the best climate control of any of them. Uh, we have both air conditioning and heat, and we're able to keep it pretty steadily between 60 and 80 degrees throughout the year. There are probably ships further south that have better air conditioning and ships further north that have better heating, but here, where we actually have four seasons in the year, uh, our systems work great. You guys have even noticed our systems. You're constantly talking about the uh, background noise in our videos, and that's predominantly the fans uh, that are part of our climate control system. Thanks for watching. When you were in the military, was your birthing compartment uh, well ventilated or not? Let us know in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, and also from viewers like you. If you would like to donate directly to uh, our museum and our YouTube channel in, in particular, check the link in the description below for ways to support us. And remember to like, share, and subscribe so you're notified when we put out new content. Your support allows us to put out multiple pieces of contact content a week uh, and you want to know when we're putting out new stuff. Thanks for watching.